Hey guys, Master Zeon here. In this video, um, I'm just going to be going over a little bit about uh, retopology and whatnot. Um, so this is a response to someone who had mailed me an OVJ asking that I um, retopologize it and uh, try to give it a more manageable mesh because as you'll see when we get this thing set up, it's a mess. I noticed that when I went to Blender that the screencast keys function changed a bit. Um, so here I am just messing around with that, messing with stuff. But, you know, let's get to work. So the first thing I'm trying to do is rotate the model. Now I've never actually seen 3D head scan data before. Um, I was reading about applications for it and was thinking of checking into it because uh, it sounds like it'd be a way easier way to model. Um, so I'm trying to set the origin point. Um, I forgot that I have to be out of edit mode to set the origin point. So it's new. And you see there's a big gaping hole in the back of the head. So that means that when they top bow, I'm going to have to just uh, make it up after a certain point. Um, we get a lot of comments on YouTube about my voice. Sorry. I wish I could do something about it and sound more interested, but sound more interesting but you know I don't have an Australian accent and <sighs> whatever all right so basically this video is just going to be a speed modeling uh, session of me just going to be topo now I tried to use BMAT I tried to use the B services add-on now that it's with GPL since they um, finally I guess the developer got all the money he was wanting um, but I know the topology being exhibited here probably isn't the best, but um, the real goal is to just get the face built as quick as possible while still having the geometry there for you know, the mouth to open and you know, the, the nose to open and then of course the uh, nose loop going around the mouth and then of course the uh, eye goggle loop, which that's what I call it. Um, but that's pretty much all there is to it, so this video is just me. Once it's a retopo, then I'm gonna, I guess I'm going to bake the head scan data over to the mesh, and then maybe do a little bit of cleanup on the UV. Um, but do keep in mind that, you know, if you have a blend you want me to take a look at or give a shot, shot at in a tutorial, just, you know, drop me a private message and I'll give you my email address. All you have to do is just send it to me, and I will make a video about you. Um, this particular person messaged me about two or three times his persistence is what got this done. I'd actually been taking a break from Blender um, to play some games and whatnot and get back to the roots of why I'm doing 3D. My goal is to eventually make games and movies, but maybe um, independently. But of course, I need the experience on developing skills too. I guess eventually try to work at a company and um, But turn up the music and turn off my mic and we'll just go from there.
this point, um, I'm putting the air in. Now the 3D scan data just didn't have a decent air at all for me to even top off, uh, for me to even uh, go off of. So instead of bottling an entire air, I just went and used one of my assets of an air and imported that into the file, which in my opinion, I think kind of works out a lot better. Uh, or basically, um, my goal is to try to create more assets instead of um, going in and manually making everything every time, which kind of brings you out on modeling after a while, having to make a hand every time, make a gear every time, and the same parts. Like eventually, you know, I want to just have a big assets folder of just eyeballs, ears, hands, just tune them to fit. Um, right here, you know, I can't do anything with this head because the shape is so unusual. So here I am with the grease pencil, of course, just trying to shape uh, what I think the contour would be. Unfortunately, the wrong object was selected, so I wouldn't be able to use that unless um, modeling from that object. So here I am, basically, I can't even trace it again. Um, the dome ahead has always been a, a bit of a personal struggle for me. Um, heads tend to have a very peculiar shape, just like the face. The face has very peculiar shapes that, you know, if you don't nail them, they just don't look right. So there's a little bit of sculpting involved as well, but this is basically supposed to be a simplified model, so take it or leave it. That's the goal that I accomplished in this video. Um, the music playing is Emancipator, in case you've never heard of them. another chill out group that I like. Um, so I'm admiring the texture painting on this model. Um, this is a OBJ, but it came with an MTL file, which is, I guess, is a material file. Um, so it has a very good texture projection job done to it. But the faces of the original mesh, the OBJ, are just too highly triangulated and just look hideous. It would never deform right for animation. You couldn't even make that guy blink if you wanted to. Or you could, but it would just take way more work than it's supposed to be. So right here, I'm just having to make up what goes here because there's no idea of the shape. So it's just me just trying to fill in the faces. It's like a Sudoku puzzle to me when I'm modeling. I look at it like there's a hole here, I gotta fill it in, make it all quads, gotta make it circular, gotta make it fit right, not look ridiculous, can't add excess geometry to make it fit. You gotta solve it, solve it like a math equation. But in this one, it's, it's not my best topological work, but it does the job for what it is, and that is recreating this head with a more animation friendly mesh. Um, make it a little more low poly while still retaining that same amount of detail minus the, the crazy hair um, Back to the video And keep in mind the shift R uh, repeats. So whenever you're merging a bunch of stuff, like trying to you know erase an edge loop that you have that may be extra, you can just Alt M merge the first one, then just come back and Shift R and um, merge it again. Um, now while I was transcoding this, I actually found that um, Blender 2.64 has test builds available um, on, if you go on Blender Nation and just look at the latest news postings as of this video, they should be talking about it. Or you can just go download off of blender.org. They've made significant enhancements to the cycles render, added progressive rendering, which makes it faster for us CPU users who don't have NVIDIA cards, which makes it really attract to have cycles and not have NVIDIA, or at least to me. Because um, I see all these other videos, like on Blender Cookie, where they pretty much are rendering instantaneously, and the numbers of cycles are just folding up and up and up, and on my computer, it's not the same. It's so slow. Um, even though I have an i5, um, I'm sure it would be even that much, wouldn't even be close, even with an i7. So once they do finally add the OpenCL support that will allow cycles to utilize the GPU of uh, utilize the GPU of ATI cards, then we will be in the clear. But until then, I'm going to be preparing to remove this card from my computer and go ahead and get something NVIDIA, which I've been looking at 
a couple of cards, but I still haven't like come up with one yet. So if y'all have something that works real, really good for y'all with cycles, you know, leave a comment or something, let me know. Um, especially if it's affordable, because I really am wanting to spend a little bit more time rendering cycles and playing with this, uh, you know, unbiased photorealistic rendering capabilities. But instead, I tend to stick with the BI because it's the same speed on your computer, my computer, anyone's computer, regardless of GPU. Um, and then the other thing is that in this, in the new 2.64 version of Planner, they also uh, made some enhancements to the tile compositor, which I'm not sure if you do a lot of compositing, but the compositor in Blender formerly was very, very slow to the point that it was somewhat ridiculous. Um, and so they finally made that a lot better too, which I'll probably go over in a later video or something. Um, now I've also been working on um, making a special video to celebrate getting 100,000 views. Um, but it's not yet completed, but it'll be, it'll be a good one. Um, now right here I'm unwrapping it. Um, in another video I remember mentioning that they tend to expand the face UV to make more detail be in the face, you know, per image size. And of course, press Q and you can go into sculpt mode where you can just smooth out UVs to prevent, you know, um, areas where the vertices are too close together to be bothering each other. In the air, I reverse it because I plan on overlapping it later when I, when I perfect it, but in the end I kind of realized that maybe he needs the, uh, the asymmetry on both sides, like the actual picture that we're referencing here. And I'm creating a 24 by 48 looking at it. See the ears have a much finer uh, UV. I can see that I can scale it and that would fix that up, but I still want the ears to be fairly detailed. Um, so from here, I'm just giving the OBJ a shadeless material and putting the camera and just checking it out. Now you can always go into the bake settings, and, or I guess before I go into that, what I did was on the OBJ, I made this material shadeless, made sure it used the uh, MTL file, and then from there, overlaid the, uh, I mean, selected both the OBJ and the retopoed version that I had unwrapped and assigned an image, went under the bake options and did a full render. So it pretty much rendered the shadeless material over onto um, my old UVs on their coordinate plane. So it's a good way to transfer UVs. I've always been really impressed with it as a feature and I'm glad it's there to just transfer stuff from things like this to top of meshes. From here I see that the lips probably don't look probably don't look right so I'm just doing some painting work on it just a clone brush put my 3D cursor somewhere near and just paint it in. See this little strong so I'm weakening it to make it fit better. Painting around and overall just cleaning it all up. This is the end and so that's it.